come bearing good news today. As I have stated before, and I will continue to maintain the secret that the global powers are working so hard to keep secret is the identity of black people. Two major things have happened this week. The first is that rapper Diddy Sean Combs has been arrested. The second is far more important. The first is just the distraction. And that is that the seven independent directors on the board of directors at 23andMe have resigned. Remember, they have to hide the truth in plain sight, but they hope that you never find it, which is why they distracted you with the arrest of Diddy the day before all seven members of the board of directors at 23andMe resign. What I mean by that is they are playing a chess game. They have known that they were going to lose the match since the beginning, but they are elongating the loss. They know their time is up, but they are using all of their plays on the board. Is it your belief that they haven't known for decades what Diddy was doing behind closed doors? Or is it more likely to believe that they knew very well what he was doing because he was deeply embedded into their system of secrecy? What I mean by that is there is a deep system of blackmail going on here at a global level and all of the global powers are involved. All of the three letter agencies are involved. They are all being judged for deceit. And this is why I say the entertainment industry, the sports industry, the church, businesses, corporations, and the government are all deeply intertwined because they are operating on the same chess game, playing as pawns in the game, ready to be used whenever they're needed all for the sake of keeping this one thing secret. Which brings me to my main point. All seven of the independent directors on the board of directors at 23andMe have resigned. And at face value, this may seem meaningless, but let me tell you, this is actually massive. If you've never heard of 23andMe, they are a personal genomics and biotechnology company that allows direct-to-consumer DNA testing. And you've probably seen a lot of their work on social media, their breakdown charts, where you'll see someone say, oh, I'm 80% Nigerian and I'm 20% Norwegian. These breakdowns come from information provided from this company. By no surprise, 23andMe is the foremost leader in their field. They are the company that is often used to justify black people being from Africa. Anytime that black Americans begin to claim ownership of American land, the first thing that is used to rebut their ownership claim is, oh, but you're from Africa and your ancestry proves it. Make no mistake, they are named 23 and me. What is this telling you? We know from numerology that 23 is really just code for seven sixes, 0 0.6666667. Mark of the beast. Let's make no mistake. There were seven board of directors that resigned. Everything is spiritual, whether you want to believe it or not. And all you have to do is follow the money. Who owns the company that owns the company that owns the company. I'm not going to tell you here, but what I will say is all you have to think about is the sign and symbol that rapper Jay-Z holds up anytime he gets an opportunity to. Make no mistake, beginning of the year, we watched a movie called Leave the World Behind, produced by the Obamas. At the beginning of that film, we see a ship called the White Lion crashing on shore. It is my claim that that is a metaphor warning all of the world's elite that the white lie is coming to a crash. And I'll end with this. I works tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. The blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, but are not Jews. Of the synagogue of Satan.